Hey, how you doing? Scotty from Scott's Bass Lessons again. And today I'm going to be announcing the winner of last week's, well it's not last week's, it was the week before, uh, the draw I had to win this little bad boy here. It's a Soundblox envelope filter. So I'm going to be telling you who won that at the end of this video. But <clears throat> I just wanted to take this time to... Well, for a few things really, this video is my 100th video on YouTube, so I feel, uh, you know, I feel like I've got to a milestone, you know, I've finally got to that 100th video. But to not really celebrate this video, but just to say, take this video just to say thanks to everybody, like I've just had such an amazing experience <clears throat> over the last two years, and that wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for all of you guys and girls so just want to say a massive thanks for that and also because I've got to the hundredth video now and I've been thinking about this for a while that I love doing the bass lessons so they are gonna carry on as normal you know I'm kicking out two a month oh yeah no yeah I'm kicking out two a month at the minute but also I kind of want to add to that as well but I don't want to just do well. You know, I could just do bass lessons, but I'm thinking, is it a better idea to kind of, you know, broaden what I'm doing a little bit? And this is where I want to ask you, what do you want? You know, what do you want me to do? If I was going to create more content every month, what would that content be? At the minute, I'm obviously doing bass lessons, okay? Now, what my... My fear is, is just bombarding you with too many bass lessons. I really want you to get these bass lessons and take action. Where, you know, if I keep just throwing bass lessons at you every week, it's going to be a little bit too much. So what I was thinking is, obviously, broadening what I'm doing. Now, I've got a list here. Now, what I want you to do is just listen to this list and then go down and comment below this video and just let me know what you think. Just, it doesn't have to be a, you know, it can be a, a, a small, it can be one word. It can just be any of these, or all of these, okay? Or it can be, you know, you can go into detail a little bit more. Now, the first thing is that I've been thinking about doing is interviews with bass players. And I think this is great because you get to see, and I'm not just talking about, you know, everyday bass players. I'm talking about, you know, famous bass players, you know, bass players that you read about in magazines. Um, I know a lot of them, so I'll be able to just give them a shout and get them on the show. And and give you the opportunity to kind of see behind the scenes what they're actually like, you know, and and I mean that as in, you know, you can read a magazine, but it's just not like a video really, is it? Oh, it isn't for me. I really like to sort of like, I like, I feel like I connect with somebody when I watch them on video. So yeah, interviews. Is that something that would appeal to you? The next thing, rig rundowns. Now what I mean by a rig rundown is um, sitting down with a pro bass player, um, again, somebody you, that you'd read about in a magazine, bass player or whatever, and sitting down with them and then going through their rig and why it's there, their basses, their amps, the pedals. Like I was really into this. Well, I'm still really into it now, actually. I'm trying to not be such a gearhead, but I, I really do like it. And I love listening to it. I'm kind of one of them guys that in the, inter in the interviews in a magazine, I kind of sort of like skip to, you know, what gear are they using? But, um, and I know I shouldn't. But, yeah, so rig rundowns, is that something you'd be into of the pros? The next thing is gear reviews. Is that something you'd be interested in, in me doing? Um, not really, you know, hey, there's this bass. I was kind of thinking more of a, given an educational slant, so, for instance, if I was interviewing, um, not interviewing, if I was reviewing a fretless, okay, I'd review the fretless and then maybe give some tips on sort of fretless play, bass playing at the same time. Um, different woods you can use on fretlesses, how that would affect your tone. Um, you know, just not the everyday kind of bog standard reviews that you see all the time. I was trying to think about something that's a bit more, you know, really nice and in-depth. And as always, you know, sort of like really good video quality and stuff like that. And then the last one is shorter lessons, which I'm already doing, but is that something you want to see more of? I know the shorter lessons, 
they're really actionable, you know, you can get that information and take it and use it straight away. So that's it really for these. Let me know what you think and also is there anything else you want to see? Is there anything else that you kind of think, oh I wish Scott did that, oh I wish he did this? Get and bring you know. So again, interviews, rig rundowns, gear reviews, and shorter lessons. Now don't worry, the base lessons will carry on as normal. I have a list, I was gonna say as long as my arm, but I actually think it's like twice as long as my body, maybe more, um, of lessons that I'm gonna do. People write in all the time and sort of like give me, you know, um, give me ideas of stuff that they need to work on and just listening to you guys as well gives me ideas of what to work on. And after this actually, you should go over to scottsbasslessons.com and not only sign up to my newsletter and become a member of that side of things because you get given free stuff, um, like free member exclusive lessons and stuff like that, but you should also check in at the forum there. There's a great forum and I'm in there all the time so, you know, if there's any questions you want to ask, that's the place to do them. Now, after all that, I'm worn out now. After all that, so yeah, go beneath this video. Tell me what you want. Tell me what you want. I'm at the 100th video. Now I want to get to the, the 200th video. You know, make it grow. So, anyway, base envelope filter. And the winner is, drum roll please. I hope everybody's doing a little drum roll out there. The winner is Frederick Van Duren. You know who you are. You know who you are. So yeah, Frederick or Frederick Van Duren or Duren. Duren. Frederick Van Duren. You are the winner. It'll be on its way in the post soon. Um, other than that, guys... Thanks again for supporting Scott's Bass Lessons. Your support is absolutely phenomenal. Blows me away all the time. I just, you know, as I said a few videos ago, we've got, well, a few videos ago, we had 70,000 subscribers across all our channels. Now we have 90,000 across all our channels. That has grown something like 20,000 people in about three, four weeks. Um, yeah, just thanks for all the support and comment below this video. Let me know what you want, what directions you want, you know, interviews, rig rundowns, anything really. Just let me know. Then I can read through them, digest it all and then try and do something about it. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the like button below this video and I will love you forever. Other than that, take it easy and I'll see you in the shed.